Facts First presents Woman Learns Staggering Detail About Her Neighbor That Exposes a 30-Year Lie Trisha Thompson is a typical 30-year-old woman. She lives just outside of Chicago, Illinois, and has a good job working for CTL Global. Trisha was not born in the United States. She was born 6,500 miles away in South Korea. When she was born, her mother put her up for adoption, and she was placed in foster care while she awaited for a nice family to adopt her. Randy and Paula Vandermark had always wanted a child of their own, but they couldn't have children, so they decided to adopt, and they heard about a baby in South Korea who needed a home. The couple quickly offered to adopt the baby, and on June 12, 1989, they brought their new baby, Trisha, home to the States. When the couple brought their new daughter home, she started living her American life. She grew up like any other child, surrounded by a loving family and lots of friends. When she got older, she was thankful for her family, but she couldn't help but wonder where she came from. And this curiosity is what made her decide to make a purchase. Trisha decided to buy a 23andMe DNA testing kit so that she could find her mother, an aunt, a grandparent, or maybe a sibling. When the package arrived, she followed the directions and she spit into the cup. She sealed it up and sent the test out. After taking the test, all that was left to do was wait for the results. The thought that she could find a blood relative had her very excited. She never expected, though, to learn what she did. When Trisha got her results, she was extremely excited. The initial facts didn't surprise her because she knew that she was adopted from South Korea. Although her DNA test told her a lot about her health and her heritage, she was more interested in finding out if she had any relatives out there in the world. She clicked on the section that showed DNA relatives that the company had in its database, and when the page loaded, she couldn't believe her eyes. There was one suggestion that stood out to Trisha because they shared many genetic markers. That meant the woman listed was probably her sister. The woman's name is Ashley Enright. Trisha was shocked when she saw that Ashley was living in Lansing, Michigan. She couldn't believe that she and her half-sister had grown up only 30 minutes away from each other. That really piqued Trisha's interest, and she wanted to find her sister. Trisha logged into her Facebook account to see if maybe she could find Ashley. And when she did, she went through the photos and her past statuses and couldn't believe what she was seeing. As soon as she set her eyes on the pictures, she knew this woman was her sister. She let the reality that she'd actually had a sister this entire time in the United States begin to sink in. And then she decided to reach out to her. Trisha sent Ashley a message that read, Hi, my name is Trisha. I did the 23andMe thing and received my results last night. I found you through their DNA relatives feature. When they compared our DNA, it seems we are likely biologically half-sisters. Based on your 23andMe bio, it seems like you were open to finding biological connections and I thought I would reach out. After sending the message, there was nothing for Trisha to do but, yet again, wait. When Ashley received the message, she texted her biological half-sister. After texting for a while, they switched to FaceTime and the sisters decided they had to meet face-to-face, -face, so they agreed to bring along their birth certificates and their adoption papers and do so. When the two women met, they compared adoption papers. They realized they shared the same mother, even the same birthday, just Ashley was a few years older. Finally, they had the proof that they were sisters. Ashley told Trisha that she was adopted by Michael and Paulette Enright and was brought to the United States on Father's Day, 1988. Both sets of foster parents used the same caseworker but different adoption agencies, and that's what led to the split. The women became very close, very quickly. They called themselves Soul Sisters. Soul, S-E-O-U-L. Nice wordplay there. And after taking a while, they realized that growing up, they went to the same mall when shopping. The girls would have walked by one another all the time, not knowing that they were sisters. Today, these sisters are more like best friends. They say it's almost as if they've known each other their entire lives. But isn't that the way sisters should be? Do you have any long-lost relatives that you've met? Have you done one of those DNA tests and found relatives? Tell us your story in the comments below and subscribe for more.